Hey guys, in this video we're super excited to show you we have three does who are hopefully bred with babies right now and who are all due in the next week. So in this video we're going to show you the progress as we go through each day and document what's happening with each one as they give birth, as they start nesting, and all of those things. So stick around for that progress. Also in this video, if you stick around to the very end, you're going to be able to see one of our new rabbits who is also hopefully bred and going to have babies. So you'll get to see her as well. For right now, I'm going to get Ellie set up here with her nest box so she can start nesting and we'll bring you along for the rest of the way as they keep going. So now we're gonna put the nest box in for Ellie. Um, these are brand new. We had a homemade one that we originally had built, but we had to buy two more because now we have three does who all need nest boxes. So what I'm gonna and do I was is- was too lazy to build two more. Cause he was too lazy to build two more. <laughs> yes. So now we're gonna put this in her cage. We're gonna put a layer of newspaper, a layer of shavings, and then a layer of hay, and she will be good to go. So the nest box is all set up for her. She'll probably end up going in there, digging around, make her own little nest, but what, it's enough to uh, keep the babies warm and everything, right? Is yep. that the concept? Yeah, especially since our basement is kept at 65 degrees, I think they're definitely gonna be toasty in there. Ellie approves, apparently. She's just gonna start eating the hay. So it's the next day here. We are with Roomba. She's due in two days from now. Um, she, we bred her a day behind Ellie, so that's why we're doing it in two separate recordings. Sorry about the low lighting. We just got home from work. Um, we're gonna clear out all of Roomba's old bedding here and put in the nest box, get it set up with newspaper, shavings, and some hay. Hi, girl. Um, and then we will cut to the end when we're all wrapped up. All right, she's all set and ready to go. We have the nest box in there. Hi, girl. She's checking out her new nest box. Um, we just put it in. It's packed with straw on the sides for insulation. Um, inside we have two inches of, sh of uh, shavings and then a bunch of hay tunneled out so she can kind of go in there and make her nest whenever she's ready to give birth. So I think she's all set to go. We'll see if she has babies soon. So Ellie had five healthy babies. And there they are. She covered them with all of her fur, made a nice little nest. It's all right, I'm not hurting you babies. So it looks like we have two broken grays and then three lighter colors, which I assume are gonna be orange, maybe broken orange, because that's what Ellie is. But they're all doing well, and I'm gonna pull out a couple of them for you guys to see. Hi, little buddy. So there's a light colored one. I assume it might be an orange or something like that. And then we have a couple pretty dark ones in here. Let me see if I can grab one. Oh, really? Talking. He's talking. So they're all very healthy, wiggly, and um, so that's a good sign. So exciting to have the bunnies on the farm finally. I know, middle New. of winter, very exciting. You have a handful of little babies. Yes, I do. They're so cute. <laughs> a little runt on top. Yeah, you can tell one of them is much darker, like the, uh, the solid. Probably, uh, Here's your babies. Blue. It's okay, I'm not hurting them. They're right here. Oh, they smell, they smell mama. Oh, Ellie's licking me. It's okay, honey. Oh, yeah, it'll be she's fun licking me. Please don't bite me. Oh, they're excited about her. <laughs> good girl, Ellie. She's a good mom. She's such a sweet girl. Here you go, good girl. Good girl, how are your babies doing? Oh, she likes that. So this is Nova. She's our newest doe, uh, part of the rabbit tree. She is a blue chinchilla color. She's roughly about eight or nine months old. She's gonna be due with babies in the next couple days, so hopefully all goes well, and stay tuned for videos of the babies. So Ellie's babies are about a week old now. Their eyes aren't open yet, but we thought we would show you guys uh, their coloration. Oh, there they all are, all five of them. 
how their colors are developing a little bit. So we have two that are broken blacks, which is this little guy. Broken black runs in the Bucks line, so that's where that came from. These guys are so cute. Their eyes are gonna be opened in a couple days from now. He so looks so fat. I, he is very fat. These broken blacks are very chunky, very well fed. And then we have one little solid orange, which looks like Mama. You can see her coloration. Looks like Ellie's orange. Super cute. And then we also have two that look like they're mostly white with a little bit of color, which means they are technically called Charlies, which we knew there was a chance of. Uh, when you breed two broken, a broken to a broken, you have a chance of getting Charlies, and that's what we got. So, got mostly pure white with a little orange on the nose and the back and the ears. So we'll be excited to see how their color develops. This one is the fattest. Oh, look at his face. He's got a little brown on his face now that I'm looking. What a cutie. This one is the runt of the litter, so she's the smallest. She's got a striped brown down her back, or it might be orange, I guess. She's got little little spots on her eyes, and oh, she's kissing me. This is the buck we bred with Ellie. He has nice coloration. He's a broken blue. He has some broken blacks in his lineage, so uh, that's why we have a couple of them. A couple broken blacks in the litter which is the first time for us getting different coloration than uh, than the buck. Hi Nova. So we gave Nova her nest box about five days ago. She is about three days late on her due date. So we'll see, we'll see if she has the babies. Um, we're hoping that the breeding took, but we'll just keep you guys in the loop. So one of our does that we bred, the one that lives in the outdoor hutch, the fluffy Angora, we're 99% sure that she's not bred because we are eight days past the due date. So that's a little unfortunate, but we're gonna give her a couple more days just to make sure that there's no babies on the way, and then we'll take out the nest box, and maybe we'll rebreed her in the next couple weeks or so. So it is day 12 now, these babies' eyes are almost fully open and they are beginning to become active and jumping around and they're already starting to hop out of the nest box. As you can see, <laughs> there goes one off the blanket. What are you doing, buddy? As for colors, we definitely have a broken chestnut, a broken black, a solid orange, and two Charlies. So we're very happy about the colors, they're all beautiful. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave a like and hit the notification bell to stay updated for more videos and we'll catch you on the next video. Mom, are you working hard? Oh. Wow. She's talking back. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? Oh, oh wow, that's that's pretty close. Oh, oh hello. Oh yes. Beautiful. On the rabbit tree. <laughs> hey guys. When your wife is in the cage with a rabbit. And you think that that's where she should stay. Wow, that's so mean. <laughs> it's because it's your happy spot, that's why I'm saying that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice yeah with the rabbit. Nice try at a recovery. <laughs> it was a wonderful recovery. No, it was not. Is that your other boyfriend? Yeah, he replaces you sometimes. Well, that's just mean.